What's up, Bowbridge? I'm Anthony. And I'm Shannon, and welcome back to the Nightly Wrap-Up. The spring sports season is underway, and many of the teams look strong in the early going. The baseball team is 3-1 with two shutouts and two games giving up only one run. The pitching staff, led by North Carolina-bound Zach Adonisi, could really be special. The volleyball team looks strong once again. They beat Piscataway this week 2-0 and are looking to be a force in the state going forward. The girls lacrosse team is 4-2 and, and beat Edison 14-5 on Tuesday. The boys lacrosse team is also 4-2 and, and last week had a thrilling overtime victory over St. John Vianney. Here at Oldbridge, we have a very successful athletic program and consequently... Nice word. SAT word, baby. Oh yeah. As I was saying, consequently, every year we, have, we send many athletes to play over college programs all over the country. This week, several of those many athletes signed their letters of intent. Check this out. I want to thank everyone for joining us this afternoon. This is a, a fantastic day for our track and field and cross country teams. It seems like it's a yearly event um, for the past few years. Uh, with one athlete after the next, uh, having this opportunity, wonderful opportunity, to move on to the next level and sign a Division One National Letter of Intent. So um, it is certainly a glorious and great day here. An opportunity to come up and say a few words, uh, which they wanted to do, and then um, they will head over to the smaller table over there with their parents, um, at which time um, we will oh. Last week was the first installment of our amazing race where the De Chicos look strong in the obstacle course. This week the stakes are even higher as we see who can pound some jello and use their psychic twin abilities to find their sibling. Ours. They were giving clues to find their sibling. Whatever. Check it out. Last time on The Amazing Race. Me and Vanessa really have to get our stuff together. We really let each other down. Uh, we came in second. Um, the, the Chicos are the threat. And yeah, we're going to take them out. My sister can't ride a tricycle. Ah! So now, we separated the twins. We took one of each twins and we hit them somewhere throughout the school. Now the remaining twins have to go through all this jello. Now, if you touch the jello cup, you have to eat it because there's a clue on the bottom. And once you find all three clues, you can go find your twin. Go! Oh, it's not, it's gonna be in it? In it or on the bottom? I don't think it's gonna pop out. You can look at the bottom and see if there's a clue on it. Ew, that's disgusting. Nope. <laughs> Dang it, son of a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how well I did, but at least I guess lunch. Wait, I found three, is that it? <laughs> can someone help me? Siblings hidden in the building. Oh, I dropped it. I don't care. All right, I got two. Oh, I... Okay, peace out. 
120 or 210? Hell yeah. Let's go. All right. I say 20 cups of jello. I can't talk. <laughs> what are you guys wanting for? I don't know where room 122 is, so. Why did it run it? Slow and steady, baby. No, this way. My hopes are here. <sighs> Where are we going? Let's hear it. Oh, she found Bobby. How? So once our twins find their other twin, they have to come back to the cafeteria for our next challenge. Blow a bubble. First to blow a bubble wins. Then you can use hands around. One twenty. Oh my god. Or two ten. That one. You know let's go. First to blow a bubble wins. Okay, then you can't use your hands, you're bound. That's all right, grab with your mouth. Find a piece of gum and blow a bubble when you do your dough. Okay, go. Can't use your hand. Yes. The gum was really gross and mushy. Son of a biscuit, that's 120. Oh god, don't tell me he's upstairs. <laughs> Look, I was the first one to finish that jello, and I found him, but once we got to the cafeteria, I mean, I don't know, there was something up with that gum. No, it's funny. I think, yeah, I think you got it. Yeah, I think it's you got too it. too soft! <laughs> <laughs> I blow a bubble! The gum was disgusting, and you couldn't blow a bubble, but we still won first place. I was sitting there talking to the girl in the class, and then I saw Vanessa come in, and we booked it to the cafeteria, and then I had to chew bubble gum. I blame the show for the sabotage gum. Are you guys having fun? Mr. So Wiener, where's, that, where's room 210? No, 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 it's that way. It's, oh, it's Wiggy you're, you're the best. You're the best, Mr. Wiener. You're the best. I can't blow bubbles. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> you see my brother? Paper towels, paper towels, help me out. <laughs> no comments. Oh my god, you were here the whole time? Freaking god. No comment. Uh, no comment. <laughs>Next time on The Amazing Race. Three small squares inside the large rectangle at the top. Find this object to find your next clue. Elevator. Well, that about does it. I'm Anthony. And I'm Shannon. And remember, it's always nighttime in Old Bridge. Bridge. Thank you.